In today's video, I'm going to answer the question, how much time do Premier League players really spend in the gym? The answer to this question is calendar dependent. You've got three stages to a season. You've got the pre-season, the in-season, and the off-season. In pre-season, you've got about six weeks to work with a player. Let me give you a case study example though. I'm at Chelsea and working with Rhys James. Most of the time he's out on the field, he's working on tactical preparation and his fitness for the upcoming Premier League season. When it comes to the gym, I'd expect to see him in there two or three days a week working on strength and power related exercises. There is a slight issue though with players like Rhys James who are internationals. They're at tournaments and in these periods of time, pre-season won't be six weeks at Chelsea, it'll be three weeks to get ready for that Premier League season. So this becomes a challenge for strength and conditioning coaches working with the Premier League team. You've then got the in-season, which of course is the bulk of the year, and you've got a lot of games. You've got 38 Premier League games. If you progress in both domestic cups, you could be looking at round about 45, 50 games. You then chuck in European competitions, and it could be somewhere around 55, 60. This is where, as a strength and conditioning coach, it's really about rest recovery. It's not really about spending lots of time in the gym during the season. Another case study example would be Jamie Vardy, someone who is mid-30s, injury history with his groin and calf. The goal for Vardy is to play in every Premier League game. Your remit as an SNC coach and physio, make sure he's ready for that. Don't worry about the cup competitions. For a player like Vardy, he doesn't need to be in the gym two, three days a week doing lots of strength and power work. He doesn't really need a lot of that in general. And it will vary across the squad of any Premier League team. At Leicester, someone like Kasper Schmeichel could be similar to Vardy in terms of being mid-30s, playing a lot of games and making sure someone that important is just ready to go and play, not being big, strong and powerful. When it comes to an injury-prone player, someone like Madison, who is a talisman on his day for Leicester City, the goal for him is to get him on the pitch and play. This is where someone like him is debatable. Do you spend lots of time in the gym working on those little injuries that he picks up, or do you wrap him in cotton wool and make sure he's fit to go and play 60, 70 minutes in the Premier League on a Saturday. Very debatable. This one is more clear cut. Someone who's coming back for an injury, a serious one, you need to work on their rehab. So James Justin, he's got an ACL injury. This happened in March. He's coming towards the end now, at the time of this recording, working on muscular imbalances. This will require work in the gym three, four days a week. Some players love the gym. Someone like Ronaldo, he won't be in the gym one day a week during a season. You can imagine with a physique like this, he will spend a lot of time at home or using the facilities at United doing weights. Completely depends on the player. If the sports science team are happy for the player to do some extra weights, it's not affecting them, they can go and do it. But most players won't bother. You then got the off season, a very short period of time, about four weeks. There's two ways of looking at this. You can either go on holiday, or if you're good enough or lucky enough, you're selected for your country to go and play in a tournament. So there's two options. You either spend four weeks on holiday, just having some downtime, or you go and play an extra four or five games in a tournament and take part in lots of training sessions. Let me give an example of a player who isn't playing in a tournament, it's a year off. Let's say you've got Jack Grealish. If I was working with him in the off season, I would give him a program. I'm not gonna see Grealish throughout the summer, but I would say, okay, you're on holiday in Dubai, Ibiza, wherever it is, here's a program in the hotel, please just do a bit of jogging, go and do some weights, and here is your target weight when you come back. Do all players follow these programs? Not really, some will, some won't. You can't blame them. They have spent the last 11 months just purely thinking about football. So they're human beings, they need downtime and not every player will follow that nice little program you've written for them. So in summary, when it comes to using the gym in the Premier League, pre-season, you're looking at two, three days a week. In-season completely depends on the player and off-season, you've got no idea. You can try and control it, but in reality, you can't. My final point before the end of this video is, a lot of people I speak to love football, but they're also really passionate about strength and power and doing lots of gym work. If you work in football, you won't be doing lots of that. So even if you don't like American football or rugby, do consider it because you will spend a lot of time in the gym working on that part of s &C you really enjoy. Okay, that was my video. I've got plenty of videos on my channel about working in high performance sport. If you have any more sort of specific questions, get in touch with me on Instagram at Sports Science Hacks. Okay, thanks for tuning in and I'll speak to you again soon.